experience level is still pretty low. It, do you find that like each game exponential growth and confidence still, or is that you pass that that initial I guess stage in development? Yeah, I mean, I think every experience that you get, you know, good or bad, you can use it uh, down the down the line, and um, you know, each and every, not even just game, but even drive, you know, things like that. You gain experience, and you can put things in the memory bank and uh, build off those, build off those for the future. So yeah, I think that uh, definitely it's helping me, helping me improve. And um, there's been some good situations that have come up within these games that are kind of hard to replicate in practice um, that I've been through now. Um, so some of those things won't be my first time. Next time they come up. How much? What's the value of, of getting experience with your, with your teammates at, at game speed? Too? In other words, kind of getting a feel of it. What your receivers like how to run routes, maybe a little different than, than other guys do. Yeah, that's huge. Um, you know, getting those game reps, but also getting the practice reps with them. Um, you know, when you're not out there, you don't get those reps with sure. those those guys that are in there. So uh, just the more you know routes you can get, whether it's routes on the air, whether it's in practice or in the game, um, it's just going to help you uh, help you get better and you know gel gel better. I think there are things in sports we hear you're never supposed to do. Across your body, but it seems to be almost like a, a weapon in your tool set. You've made three or four of those throws in the first couple games. Is that by design, or is that just, just a, I guess, a natural part of, of having mobility that allows you to do something? Like that? Yeah, you never want to, you know, make a habit out of doing that. Um, and it's not just out there just flinging it around. It's definitely calculated. Um, so it's it's definitely like you said, something that you don't want to live in, but. You know, every once in a while it comes up during the game, and and sometimes you just got to go make a play as well. So there's a fine line of you know being reckless and making plays. Physically, is there any adjustment you have to make? I mean, in a few months without live reps, and then you're back out there two weeks in a row. Is it hard to get used to that? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, just the intensity that you're playing with out there, you it's hard to really match that in practice. Um, so there's definitely. Uh, you know, a little bit of time in the training room and stretching and things like that that maybe I didn't uh, need to do before, and now I have to to get those things in. But that's just part of the deal. And uh, like I said, with everything else, the more you do, the more comfortable you're going to get. And I feel like I'm in a good routine now. How much help do you get from Matthew? Oh, I mean, a ton. I mean, he's he's there every day. He's you know in my ear, um, in a good way. You know, he's bouncing things off of me and. Um, you know, any, any advice that I can get from him is, you know, more than welcome because, you know, he's done it at a high level for a long time, leader of this team. And, um, you know, he's, even though he hasn't been out there for the last couple of weeks, he's still trying to do everything he can to help this team win games. I was wondering if you can go a little bit more in depth on his role on Sundays. We see him out there with the headset looking like Coach Stafford. I was wondering <laughs> what he said, you know, he's more of a sounding board for you, but what, what does he bring to, from your perspective for you helping out there? I mean, just like, you know, if I, if he was out there and I was, um, you know, not playing, it's kind of the same deal. Just be a, you know, be there for support, you know, maybe mention something that he might have seen that, you know, might be hard to see when you're out there and just bouncing things off of each other. And, you know, nothing super specific that I can think of right now, but uh, just, just being there and, you know, bouncing things off each other. In general, is it more looking at what their defense is doing as opposed to talking about your offense? Yeah, yeah, that definitely. Um, you know, we're going through the... Uh, the surface there, looking at the looks that we've gotten and, you know, talking through things that we could get to down the road uh, later in the game. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to, to learn out there and use the time on the sideline as yeah. best possible. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, how important is it for you to win, though, win games and you don't, you know, do things physically and all that? The bottom line for quarterbacks is winning. Isn't that the box that you really want to check as to start winning games? Ab too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the, you know, that's what we're all here to do sure. is win football games. And, um, you know, we've like you mentioned, we've we've been close in these last couple games, but that's you know that's the NFL. All games are close, and we got to find a way to win, and uh, we just got to make a few more plays because you know in the in the NFL these games do come down to a couple plays, uh, and we just got to find a way to to make them. Washington has some. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Washington has some really big names in, in their secondary in, in, in Collins and in Norman, but Dunbar seems to be just playing high level this year. I'm just wondering as you taking off. Early look at the film, what you've seen from from him in particular, Dunbar. Yeah, I mean he's a you know super long corner. I think he's six one, but he has super long arms. Uh, he played receiver in college, um, so you know he has a feel for route concepts, has a feel for you know maybe what people are trying to do on offense. So he he just is a really savvy player, and I think he just keeps getting better because he's only been playing 
uh, corner for a, for a few years now. But like you said, he really is playing at a high level. What did you see in Bo, by the way? The guy who got his first chance, started a game, <clears throat> scored a touchdown and all that. Kind of a, kind of a rapid rise for Bo. Yeah, I thought he played, you know, super physical. Um, you know, very rarely did you see the first guy that made contact with him bring him down. Um, so I thought he just brought a really physical presence to the run game. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, guys.